Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a PSA return. And then at the very end, we're going to open up a base set booster box and see what's inside. We're going to check it for black triangles or for error types. Most likely it's just regular and limited. And then I'm going to sell out the heavy packs. Um, you guys have requested these so much that I'm going to go for it. But I tell you, the prices have went up because the box itself is skyrocketing. In fact, by the time you guys see this video, they may either be sold out or the prices may have just, you know, changed. I don't, I don't know. We'll just have to see. So, let's start off with the PSA return. I have some of these Reshiram and Charizard GXs, the Japanese ones. I would have thought that these would have been pretty easy to grade. However, let me show you. I got a 9, a 7, a 9, a 9, an 8, and an 8. So, I did terrible. 0 for 6. 0 for 6 with the new back, new card. So I'm not sure what happened there, but really they're not worth regrading, so I'm just going to sell them as is. None of those are going to the background. No way. But then the next two cards, I did amazing on. Check these out. We've got two PSA 10s on the Charizard GX SB49s. I noticed the prices on these have started creeping back up again. Those will be for sale pretty quickly. Now we're going into some Cosmic Eclipse stuff. You got Rosa right there, Gem Mint 10. You got red and blue with the 10. I really like this Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX full art. Did get two for three on the 10s. Looks like my phone is going off. I'm gonna stick both of the, well, I'll stick one in the background. We'll just do one. Oh wait, I, I guess I submitted four. Went three for four, so not too bad there. Uh, looks like the Reshiram and Zekrom GX. I like this one as well. Two nines. Hopefully I got at least one ten. I think I submitted three of those. There we go. We have a ten on that one. Not going to cover up the Charizard with that. Got Solgaleo and Lunala. I think I submitted three of those. Went two for three. All right. Now we're moving into some Watsi Jap Japanese stuff, which technically isn't Watsi, Wizards of the Coast. That's what WOTC is. Uh, it's just similar sets. It's from Gym Challenge, but this is the older um, set. So we got a 10 on the Misty's Gyarados. I like that. 10 on Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. 10 on Dark Dragonite. you got to always put a Dragonite in the background. This is actually a pretty big hit with the Japanese base set. Got a 10 on it. 8 on the Fira. I don't know why my phone goes off. Every time I get on one of these things. I am silencing because it looks like I got stuck in a group text. All right, continuing on, eight with that Lieutenant Surge Sphere. Look, we went two for two so far on the Misty's Gyarados. I didn't realize I had a lot more of these Japanese hollows that I'd submitted. Ten on that one, eight on this Hitmonchan, nine on the Machamp. The old style back uh, hollows, they do better than the English, but they don't really do as good as the uh, Japanese or new style backs, which is what you saw with those Reshiram Charizards. And that's normally the way it is. However, mine did pretty bad. You guys saw I went 0 for 6 on the Reshizard. So it looks like uh, we're hitting a streak of 8s and 9s. You know, nothing too crazy here. Got a 10 on that Electrode. You know, if you guys want to buy into these old holographics in Japanese, like 10s are super cheap. Most of these 10s you can find for 30, 40 bucks. Some even less than that. Nines, you could probably get a complete jungle base fossil. You know, any any of these sets. You know that uh, mirror the old Watsi sets in PSA nine graded Japanese hollows. You could probably get them for a couple hundred bucks. I mean, it's really that easy. You could probably find most of these for twenty dollars. Some are going to be outliers. Like you know, that's probably going to be a little bit more expensive there. But you know, they're not that hard to grade. Um, they become a little bit harder. However, they're still relatively easy to find. You guys have seen how many tens that I had in here. Uh, probably 20 to 30 percent at least, you know, for these older ones. Hitting a dry spell right now. But so if you want to buy that stuff, uh, I'll try to drop a link down here in the description for these old Japanese hollows. I'll do for a, a link for PSA 9, but you can just change that up in the title, put PSA 10 if you want tens, or you can change the set. I'll start it off with say I don't know, base set. They said you're going to have, have some that are going to be a little bit more expensive like the Charizard, but like this Gengar, I think I sold my last Gengar. This one was, was a little bit more expensive, like 70 or 80 bucks. But you got to think on the English side, you know, a first edition one, probably looking at $1,000. I mean, it's just crazy. Some of those uh, jungle, are we three for three on Missy's Gyarados? Jim Mint 10, man, that's sweet. All right, let's see what else we have here. We've got Ditto. I know some of the jungle hollows, some of these Team Rocket hollows, Jim Mint 10, I mean, they were only like $30, $40. Right now, with the way everything's selling, I'm going to be putting my stuff on a little bit higher price tag because I'm selling out of my stock. It's crazy. Like, 
PSA, I'm, I'm lucky enough I got a couple bulk returns in. So I've got some stuff that I could list online, but I've already lost over 20% of my stock. I was down to like 1,600 listings or something, and I was up at 2,100. So for me, um, I think I need to list a little bit higher. People are paying more, and I'm running out of stuff. I guess because PSA shut down. I mean, I don't know. I was bringing in at least you know one bulk order every single week, and now that's just not happening. Maybe once they open back up again, you know, it'll be back on track. All right, here we go. Ooh, that would have been a good hit if I'd got a ten on it, but did not. Same with that one. You got the Your Name's Chancy, and it just basically it's a blank. Uh, you're supposed to fill in the name that you have for uh, you. You're supposed to put your name in there, kind of like Birthday Pikachu. You got the Azumarill. Neo Genesis, I don't ever seem to do well on this for the Japanese side for some reason. There's the Feraligator. I think someone is actually looking for uh, every grade of this, this hair across. I can't remember if he got a 7. I know he just bought an 8 off of me. But there we go. We got a 10 on Giovanni's Machamp. But that one's easy on the English side as well, so that's not <laughs> that fantastic of a pull. Got a couple eights on the Blaine's Moltres. Wonderful artwork, man. I love that look. It's got the double swirl going on. The start and the end right there. This one has one swirl below its feet. Got an eight on that Lieutenant Surgeon's Raichu. You got the cool Sabrina's Gengar. Let's see if you can see. You can see the graveyard in the background. That artwork was banned on the English side. You got 10 on the Sabrina's Alakazam, 10 on the Erica's Vileplume, and 10 on the Misty's Cedra. All of these will be for sale. I don't really collect Japanese stuff. I might, I might have some in my collection, but it's not going to be a whole lot. Oh, looks like we're transitioning over to English. Got the SM229 Venusaur and Snivy GX. This should be a pretty easy 10 to grade. I think I've got several of these already. Looks like we went 3 for 3. Uh, sent in some of these Charizard and Braxton GX promos. Uh, I believe these are supposed to be a little bit better than uh, my second release or second wave, so it looks like we went two for three there. But that Charizard in the background, I was just running out, so got another two, so we're four for five. I think these are the best Charizards I had. I got two on my previous submission, so let's see how many I got on this one. Looks like I went, I don't know, look, I went one for three. I've got two nines and a ten. I'll put that ten in the background. Bumblebee Pikachu, an easy 10 grade, and I am always selling these things. It's such a popular card, really iconic, and it's cheap. It's like $39.99. I try to submit promos anytime I can with an order. They're easy uh, to grade, but you know, if you're trying to buy them individually out there, normally you won't find them in gym mint condition. So I'm blessed in that I have kept a lot of these promos set back over the years, so I have a lot of 10s. You guys saw that trade that I made to Cardhouse EU. He saw the potential. I see why. And uh, you should probably see why, too, if you're an investor and you're looking at this stuff. Because you can buy this stuff you know, in massive quantities. And they're easy tans. And you can just resell the stuff. Got a 9 and a 10 on those Magmars. Got 10, 10, and a 10. All right. So you should be able to buy uh, these packs of eight of these things for like 20 bucks. You know? And then just one of those 10s is going to sell for that price. 10, 10, 10. Got 10s on these pre-release War Turtle. These come in sealed packs of 25. I think I did try to have one of those graded as a sealed pack. It looks like we went 9, 10, 10 on these uh, Machamps right here. So not too bad. We still have one more stack to go before we get to that base set box. I'm going to show it to you here. Here. Very shortly. Let's put this box down. I've got a place to put these. Oh, looks like we've got another 10 on the Magmar. So 10, 10, and 9. Next up we have Scyther, 10, 10, 9, also 2 for 3. Getting a lot of these 2 for 3 on Gem Mint 10s. Looks like we went 3 for 3 on the Electabuzz. Snorlax, boom, 10 for 10, or 3 for 3 on the Gem Mint 10. So you Rapid Dash, he's next. 1, 2, 3. So we went 2 for 3 on the Rapid Dash, and this is the Pokemon Center New York version, which is the much more common, mainly because there's some guy out there who has over 5,000 of each of them things, or did have 5 bricks. I'm down to like 3 bricks of each, plus a little bit extra. Next up, we have Pre-Release Raichu. I used to be grade these 10 all the time, but my last several orders have yielded nothing but 8s and 9s. Zero for three, got three mint nines. I still will sell them for sure though. And then last but not least, we have the Ho-Oh, also the Pokemon Center in New York. Ah, three for three, there we go. Let's put something new in the background. Put him back there. All right, so 
Now we're on to the end event. We've got this base set booster box. You guys saw that I paid over 5100 for. I was going to open up in that video if I did not pull a T17 or Lugia, but we pulled the T17. It did not uh, yield a gym mint condition uh, type flosion. However, we pulled it, so I did not do it in that video. I'm going to do it in this video right now. So I'm going to make sure I break this seal pretty good. Make sure no one can reuse it after I throw it in my trash. All right. Here we go. All right. So these are definitely not the black triangle versions. Kind of looks uh, got a lot of saturation, good color to them. I'm going to pull the packs out, make sure we've got 36 legit packs. And it looks like we definitely do. Doesn't look like any of these have been tampered with. Kind of see the warp in that one. I bet that one's got a hollow. Check that out. <laughs> I will plan to weigh these packs out and sell the heavy and uh, probably just keep the light for now. Man, those would look really nice. Maybe those would be good for PSA submissions. Do they have the, yeah, they do have the little uh, slits on them as almost every pack does, but they're on the side, so they would be most likely missed by PSA, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anything special about the variation? Yep, just regular 1999 square wizard logos, but they look good, don't they? Hope you guys enjoyed the PSA return and the box opening. If you're interested in some heavies, just email me because I may have another box coming in. So if this one sells out, I could have another one on the uh, on the ready. But prices have went up, so email me for a current price on that. Thanks.